transfer to my computer 35 characters long. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim. Yes? Okay, another one. Lose the attitude. Just kidding. I love you guys. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not coming at you with a hair tutorial or some My Favorite Things video. I'm going to teach you how to edit. Yep, today's video is sponsored by Movavi. Or Movavi? I'm not really sure. Either way, it's a cool video editing software that allows you to do the edits that I've been doing in my videos, but for way cheaper. Cheap, cheap, gang, gang. I'm literally switching over to Movavi to like do my edits because it's so much quicker and it's so much cheaper. I can do the same edits in half the time with Movavi. I'm going to show you all sort of like the basics of Movavi today. This is going to be like a walkthrough of the software to see if you like it yourself because a lot of y'all been asking me, Will, what kind of editing software do you use? Will, how do you edit your videos? Will, teach us how to be Beyonce. I can't really do that one, um, but <laughs> thanks for the compliment. Anyway, let's get started. Wait, but first, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. We have so much coming, okay? We're gonna spice it up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out. Okay, so I have Movavi open. This is how it looks. It's cute, take it in. Okay, so just quickly, right? Just to get yourself acquainted. Down here we have our timeline, right? And you can see here it says drag your files here. That's because you drag your files there. This is where you'll actually put all of your video footage, all of your text, all of your music, whatever else you have. Um, that will be on screen. Okay, you'll drag it in here and this is where you'll do most of your editing. Over here is where we'll preview all of our edits, right? So once we do get some footage in here, you'll see it pop up right here. And then over here to the left, okay, come on Beyonce. To the left, to the left, everything you need is in the box to the left. Okay, this is where all the stuff that you will basically need to make your video better will be. So you can see there's this sidebar. We'll go through each one of those separately so that you understand everything that this video editing software has to offer. So the first tab on the sidebar is import. What is this? What, what do we do here? You'll notice there's this little drop down menu and the first option is my files. So my files, this basically is where you'll be able to import any footage you have on your computer, any photos, any music, any of that stuff, you'll be able to import it by just clicking add media files. And you can see there's a pop up that allows you to grab anything from any of the various folders that you have on your computer. If you're like me, you have way too many. <laughs> just have to say that you're fine. Next we have record video and this is a game changer, okay, because directly from this software you can actually record yourself. So you can record a hair tutorial right on your computer if you have obviously like a webcam or if you have, your, most laptops have like built in cameras anyway, but you can record a video right here. So I'll click that just to show you all. So hey y'all, it's me, oh my god, hey, hey. <laughs> So as you can see, you can record yourself right here just by pressing start capture and then you'll be able to import this right into the video software and that will allow you to immediately start editing that footage. So let's move on. The other important thing is record screencast. Now this basically helps you record the screen like much like I'm doing here but this is a sort of like feature that you have to pay for so if you are interested in that especially if you're like a gamer or something like that that's important for you or if you're trying to do a video that's like this that's also important this basically just grabs your screen so that's my files right so now let's go to sounds sounds is basically just a library a library of sounds that you can insert into your timeline so let's go ahead and insert one we have applause sound effects we have an all sound effect we have a button Okay, girl, we have one of those. If you watch the vlog that I edited using Movavi, you know that I use the DJ sound effect quite a bit because it's, I think it's just a hilarious sound effect. So let's go ahead and drag a sound effect down into the timeline. So what you can do is just basically literally drag it like that and you'll drag it into the music time part of the timeline. So that sound effect, it's real easy and obviously you can go ahead and download more if you're interested in getting more. Let's move on to music. There's a lot of music in here that I actually used in the vlog as well. So go ahead and watch the vlog. If you haven't watched the vlog, you'll see all of the edits come to life there. The music is really good. To be like stock music, it's really good. Obviously, you can like import your own music. There's music that's happy and cheery. There's music that's for the holiday time. I know a lot of y'all are still out there sipping on sweet tea because of Daddy Lessons by Beyonce. So there's country music in here for all of y'all. The next option is sample video, which is what I'm going to actually be using to show you all some edits today. So in sample video, there's just a bunch of sample footage that you can use and you can drag it into your timeline right where this sort of like movie clip symbol is. You can drag it right there. And so we'll just place some of the footage right and see there's this like car scene it's real cute it looks like maybe the middle of new york city it's rainy outside not where i'm trying to be but this is cute footage nonetheless and as you can see there's a ton more video samples here for you all to check out if you so please so we'll just leave that in the timeline for right now and we'll go on to background so in backgrounds there's basically just like a bunch of stagnant photos that you can use uh for like backgrounds if you want to like place text over this you can do that so let's drag this blue one into the timeline and obviously you can put this sort of wherever you want maybe before the car scene 
right here or behind it we'll do before we're finished with the first option on the sidebar so let's move on to the filters tab now this is where you'll make your film all cute and stuff okay all real cute here's how this works movavi is all drag and drop which sounds like a dance move from the 90s everybody do with me hey drag and drop hey drag and drop but really it's that easy you can preview all of the filters and all of the effects just by double tapping them and it'll show you basically how they look before you get to like put them on your actual clip some of these are like really cute and animated like the balloon one we'll try the balloon one out okay so let's take the balloons and we'll drag it and you'll literally place it on whatever clip you'd want it to be on so let's put it on the car scene as you can see it's all animated and stuff so that's how you sort of add a filter and you can add multiple filters so say i wanted these balloons but i also wanted there to be a camera shake okay we'll put the camera shake in there as well and look what happens Ooh, whoa see how cool this is this is actually so cool you can't really do this with m many other softwares at this price point it's ridiculous that they've been able to pack so many different like features into this i'm shook so there's that we'll leave those on there we'll leave those uh sort of filters on there so let's move on to the third tab this one is the transitions tab so basically this is all you need in order to like go from one clip to another if you want there to be some cool transition so we have a ton right let's try this blind one out so whichever transition you want you'll drag and drop it in between two clips that you want that transition to happen for so we'll take the blind transition and drag it between the blue background and the car footage and we'll see how this works. Let's play. Ooh, okay, yeah, and the filters are still there coming through strong with the camera shake and the balloons. So you see how this can quickly sort of like become something that you want it to be if you, you know, make your choices wisely. Maybe not do a car scene with balloons and camera shake. Maybe that don't make too much sense, but maybe it makes perfect sense. I don't know. So that's basically what the transition tab is. There are a ton of other transitions here for you to choose from, uh, but let's move on. The next tab is text. No. Not on your cellular devices, okay? This is just text that you add to your footage. Now, you could sit there and be basic, real basic, but Movavi offers you a ton of, like, advanced text options. We have these cute animated titles, and obviously you could change the title to whatever you want it to be. We're just going to choose one. Mm, I like this one. This one seems extra, real extra. And obviously you can preview all of these, like I said, by just double tapping, and boom. There you go. Or actually, no, let's choose this one. Okay, this one's real cute. So we'll just drag that and drop it into the text section on our timeline. And, oh, I already have one here. Let me delete the other one. So here we go. We'll just play this real quick just to see what it looks like against the blue background. So see, it's real cute. It's real cute. It's nice. But, oops, it's bleeding over into the next clip. So we don't want that. So what you can do is actually click the text, right? Click the text piece in your timeline and take the end and just drag it over until it snaps at the uh, end of the first clip. So let's play it again, and boom, there you go. It's real cute, and you see it ends as it goes into the next clip. Now let's change the text. You just double click the text in your timeline, and you can see it opens up like a text editor on the preview screen, okay? So it's trying to save space here for you. So now you've got all these text boxes up here that you can edit, and you can basically just change whatever in the text box. So I could say, I don't know lean with it and I could go down here and change this one rock and the last one with it and forever we'll just keep it forever because we lean with it rock with it forever so now let's see what that looks like lean with it rock with it forever baby it's real cute and it's real easy all of these are so easy to use you just drag and drop them double tap them and then you change the text and obviously you can drag it while it's in the timeline to be as long or as short as you want it to be. There's cute like speech bubbles that you can use, other really professional looking like animated text that options. Real cute. So let's move on to the next tab. The next tab is stickers. Stickers is real easy. They're basically a bunch of like emojis and different cute like stickers i don't know what else do you call them apples <laughs> airplanes in the vlog that i edited with movavi i use this bang symbol a lot let's stick a couple in our video um i like blah blah because we i talk a lot <laughs> drag this baby on down right there and boom 
it's on the screen and you can drag this to wherever you want it to be in the timeline so let's let's i don't know let's just keep it on the first clip let's just keep it simple when you double tap this it opens up a sticker editor and basically all you can do is like move it around on the screen so wherever you want to put it you can put it there and you can make it bigger or smaller it's all up to you so obviously we're not exporting this to anywhere i'm not uploading this video to youtube it is kind of like a wacky video we got cars and balloons and blah blah stickers and lean with it rock with it intros we're not putting this anywhere so this is just to teach you all you know what Movavi is capable of and there's tons of other stickers for you to choose from little cute monkeys ice creams cute valentine's day stuff all that good stuff but we're going to move on to a few other things this last one is pan and zoom pan and zoom is the feature that allows you to sort of like slowly pan in okay like i'm doing now this feature is really simple to do and i'm actually going to grab another sample video just because the one we got already is a lot going on these balloons and fast cars too much so let's go to our import tab and go to sample video again and then i'll click hmm let's see the sky so this is our sky footage it's pretty cute it's just a bunch of clouds going across the sky very huh it's very soothing <laughs> Whoa, okay, uh, so now let's see how pan and zoom works. Okay, pan is basically moving from one part of the image to the other part of the image, so it looks like there's movement, movement there. Zoom is basically, you all know what that is, you just zoom into a specific part of the image. So real quick, we're gonna do an example of a zoom in. Let's go back to our pan and zoom. You'll go ahead and click add, right? And that'll add the function to pan or zoom on whichever clip is selected at the time. Click add, boom, and then we'll see this little symbol here on the clip that basically signifies the beginning point of the pan or zoom and the end point of the pan or zoom. We can drag this for however long we want the pan or zoom to last. And how you edit this is real simple. You'll just double tap the beginning point, double tap, now it'll bring up this in the preview screen. It'll show you what the screen will look like at the beginning of the pan or zoom. So just leave it at the full screen. Now let's go to the end point and we'll just double tap that one, double tap. So you can see the smaller box, it's sort of like highlighted and the rest is dark. That's because just what's highlighted will be shown. So if we wanted to make this like real small, then just this area right here will be shown at the end of the zoom. So let's drag our cursor to the beginning of the clip and we'll see how this is looking. Boom, we zoom it in, we zoom it in, we zoom it in, we're real going, we, it's going, it's going in there. And that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm a little shook. I'm a lot shook. So that's basically how that works, right? And you can obviously be creative and it's all really up to you on how you implement all of these features. There are a few more features that I'm gonna go over really quickly. Um, there's animation here, and this is all in the more tab, right? There's another tab here that just is more stuff. There's callouts, which basically are like really cute, like ways to like, call out maybe like the subscribe button you can put this and point it at the subscribe button when you're if you're making a youtube video you can do check marks you can do circles and you can obviously place this anywhere on the screen you can make them as big or as small as you want um stabilization if your video is like pretty shaky you can use stabilization to make it smoother there's also animation which is really easy and it give you simple instructions right here so you can use Movavi to take an image on the screen and then move that image to another part of the screen and that's basically like animation and that's what allows me personally to do all the cool edits that you see animation now another feature that i use a lot in my vlog is crop right the crop tool this allows me to basically just like to cut out a piece of my image so that i can just sort of zoom in on that really quickly without there being like an animated zoom but just like a dry cut zoom so i'm going to go through that real quick move your cursor to where you want the cut to happen we'll click the clip okay that's hard to say and then we'll take this tool right here chops your clip in half so you'll click that and you can see now we have two different clips and we'll also go to another part of the clip and we'll click that scissor symbol one more time which is by the way called split and now we basically just cut out a piece of our footage and so now what we can do is we can crop it and in our preview box we'll go ahead and just crop out a piece of the footage so maybe I wanna mm, maybe I wanna see what's going on over here right and I want to zoom in on that just so you all can see that a bit better. So let's see how this works. Okay, let's go back a little bit before the cut happens. Then let's just play it. And boom, the cut happens. And then just like that, it's over. <laughs> so as you can see, Movavi is pretty simple. It's pretty easy. And obviously you can also use sort of like the split function to delete parts of the clip out whenever you have something that you don't want to be in the final cut. You just chop your clip up and you delete what you don't want. Real simple, it's real easy. Movavi is here to support you, okay? You and your editing needs. There are tons of advanced features, there are tons of like basic features, but really you'll find it all here. So, 
here's what I got for you, okay? My baby literally hit me up and was like, do you want a 30% off discount for your followers? And I was like, uh, yes. Cheap, cheap, gang, gang. That's what we are here for. We come to your neighborhood, we snatch your deals, okay? That's what we do. So if you look at the description box right now, you'll see that there is a 30% off discount code for you to purchase a Movavi software. And Movavi is already real cheap, y'all. I'm not even, I'm not playing. Like, go look at any other, like, editing software and see how much it costs and see if it has, like, comparable features advanced features that you can use and see if it costs like this much because this is actually so cheap I'm actually a little bit upset because I've been spending so much money on my editing software and I can do just the same if not more in Movavi it's real cute the interface is real simple to use so go ahead and check that discount code out if you want to use Movavi for yourself shout out again to Movavi for sponsoring this video I really appreciate it I love y'all they're so nice over there but if y'all like this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and if you want to stick around and be my friend and be my homie just click that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on Facebook Twitter Instagram and Snapchat I'll see all of you back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Win but until then bye